Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and you can follow me at executeauto in Twitter. And welcome to the all new course of Automation Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp. So who are the intended audience of this course? Well, both QA and developers are the intended audience of this course because I designed this course by keeping both of them in mind. What makes this course so special? And how is this course designed? Well, the curriculum of this course is designed not just by randomly picking some of the topics what I know. Rather, the course is evolved over a period of time by giving trainings to more than 100 plus professionals, both online and corporate trainings, and working on automation testing field for more than 9 plus years now. Hence, the course is much refined version, meaning the course won't deviate from the topic of what the course is all about. What do you mean by deviating? Well, we will not deviate our course by talking something like the basics of c -sharp programming language. In other words, how to work with classes, how to work with objects, what is called inheritance, what is polymorphisms, and how to create some of the constructors, interface, all those basic programming stuffs. We will never ever touch all those concepts. And we are not going to talk the very basics of Selenium as well like opening a browser, finding a control in the UI element, and how to work with XPath, DOM objects, JavaScript executor, all those stuffs. If you are very interested in learning some of the basics of Selenium, then you can switch your attention to Selenium with C Sharp and Java Tidbits. It's a free course I have released in Udemy, and you can learn about some of the basics of Selenium. And it's absolutely free, so you can always start learning here. And we will not be talking about the great feature which Visual Studio IDE has got. We will not take some of the existing WW website to test our framework. Rather, we have built our own MVC application and that's the application which we are going to work for creating our framework. So we will talk about automation framework development and that's what this course is all about. We will discuss about how to design a framework and how to develop the framework before coding. We also develop the framework in industry standard, not just developing by whatever I know. And we also start to code our framework and talk about some of the best practices to develop a framework. And then we'll integrate our framework with the application test layer. So application test layer is a separate project which we'll be creating within our solution and we'll be using that project to start writing our test cases for the application which we are going to discuss. So don't panic yet while we start talking about those concepts. We'll be talking about that a lot. And most importantly, as I already said, we'll be working with the real application developed with MVC, not some other website like www.yahoo.com or amazon.com. So how is going to be our learn path? A good question. Well, the learn path is going to be something like this. We'll start our discussion with understanding the framework and then we'll start designing our framework and we develop some of the base and extension components which is required for our framework and also developing some of the helpers and config components required for our framework and developing some of the step components for BDD. So we'll be talking about behavioral driven development as well. And then we'll be integrating our test with the application layer. And finally, as I already said, we'll be using SpecFlow for behavioral driven development, which will be a separate section altogether in our course. If you want to learn some of the basics of SpecFlow, then I will always recommend you to start learning the free automate application with SpecFlow and Selenium in Udemy. And I have around 25 lectures on BDD and SpecFlow, and you can learn it from here, and it is absolutely free. Well, how ASP.NET MVC application that we're going to test is going to look like. So if you're very interested, then I can show you a sneak peek of it. So this is the application which we're going to test and the application will have a very, very simple UI. As you can see, it has a simple login functionality and you can enter the username and password and hit login and you can log in as an user, as an administrator or any guest user. And also you can see the list of employees that you can see within this application. You can see their benefits, you can edit them, you can delete them, whatever you want to do, you can do from here. You can also manage the users and all these features that you are seeing here is what we're going to test in our course. 
but not full functionality of this application but some of the functionalities will be taken as a scenarios and then we'll be building our test case from there can i have a sneak peek preview of the framework of course yes so the framework that we're going to develop is going to be named as ea auto framework and you can see that within this framework we'll have a component structure like this base component config component extensions component and helper components and within each components there will be different classes and these classes are going to be responsible for performing some kind of operation which we'll be talking about in this course and this is the application test layer which i was talking about and here we'll have separate sections like data features hooks pages steps and traditional test automation so we'll be developing this as well while we start designing our framework can i see the framework class diagram well, the class diagram is going to look something like this. Well, we'll talk more about this while we start designing our framework. Excited then? Let's get started.